Just finished pre-checking in here. All right, just went through security check here. Now on my way to gate D. Now Vegas is quite big. The airport here, very, very big. There's trams and different terminals. So make sure you allocate enough time when you get here to uh, get through the very long screening process, especially if a lot of people are in town. And then uh, enough time for you to hop on the tram here to get to the right terminal. I'm going gate D. Which is mm, ooh, not a good sign. This is something you never want to see when you're on travel. All right, I'm hoping things aren't delayed because of that. But that doesn't mean there's only one tram going back and forth right now. By the way, it's pretty late here right now. It's about 10 o'clock at night, so a lot of the stores are closed down. That's why it's dark outside. And for whatever reason, on the way in, there was tons of traffic of people getting picked up. So actually, you know, maybe not. It's, it's not so surprising because it is Friday night. So a lot of people probably come to town, a lot of people getting picked up from the airport. So that causes in a huge backlog of people, well, trying to depart and uh, there are people coming in are blocking the gates for the people trying to leave. You think I'd be much more joyed about traveling right now, considering this is the first time I'm hopping on a plane to fly across country in, oh, maybe three years now? But this is the week after uh, they pretty much got rid of the mask mandate on all flights. So that means, uh, you know, there are a lot more people who are not going to be masked up. I am going to probably wear a mask for most of the flight, but, you know, j just to be cautious. Not that I'm paranoid at this point, but there is still a coronavirus going around here. And uh, the odds of catching a second and third time seem to be increasingly higher than before. Now, you're not going to end up with uh, the kind of stuff that, you know, if you didn't get vaccinated, you're likely to get, which is some potentially long-term effects around that could affect your respiratory system. Right now, it seems like for the most part, most people are just getting a nasty kind of cold and a cough and getting over it. All right, you see the tram coming in. Here we go, yo. KD.
But yeah, I would just advise that if you are coming to Vegas to mask up while you're still on the plane in the airport. You have to think of it this way, right? There are people from all over the United States and all over the world that come here. And you just don't know what kind of policies they have and how well vaccinated their particular area of the world is or shoot, what kind of variants going around. So just be a little more cautious around the airport. That should be my advice. Just looking out for y'all. One thing I love about Vegas Airport, it is spacious. It never feels cramped. It's just so much space. Even with all these people, I mean, look at this. This looks like rush hour in the middle of Tokyo or New York City. It is, however, middle of the night here in Vegas. My point is, it's, it's spacious here. Now I gotta figure out which way to go. This way, D forty three. By the way, this is one of those airports where it's actually fun to get here early. You know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself under the kind of pressure where you show up late, you're scrambling, you're trying to dart through the airport as if you're an Olympic runner. Get here early. I mean shoot, if you feel like you gotta gamble, gamble. You got that all right here. You wanna eat? Tons of great places to eat. You want to just be able to walk around and explore? Oh my God, it's so much. Ooh, that smells so good. See, like me, I'm kind of out of time. Otherwise, I would have made time and go get me a pretzel for a cross-country trip. That would knock me out. Load up on some carbs, pass out once the jet engine starts roaring. Okay. Ooh, Raiders Nation, baby. Okay, gate 50 is that way. I believe gate 40 some is this way. So this part where it does get confused and this particular terminal is shaped like an X. So it's not as if you have one long path to go. You gotta make sure you go down the right path. Otherwise you're circling back. Oh my God, it quite literally, <laughs> I can see to the end, this is quite literally the last gate at the end.
All right, this is one thing you don't do in a Las Vegas airport. Don't end up here going, shoot, I need to buy me some swag to bring back home to the family. I mean, look at that, two t-shirts for 35 bucks. I'm telling you, you go to one of those general stores on the Vegas Strip, oh no, downtown Las Vegas, because uh, that's where the cheaper stuff is. Three t-shirts, 10 bucks. That's a big difference, right? By the way, gate D here, I do believe it's predominantly Delta. And Delta here has a direct flight to Boston, which is where I'm heading to. It's one of the things I actually love about Las Vegas. You can pretty much find a direct flight to everywhere in the United States. It's very convenient. This is what I want to know. This is what I've always wondered about for people who want to gamble here in the airport, which is, what happens if you win big? Like right here, what happens if you win a million dollars? Are you going to not get on that plane? Actually, yeah, I guess you want to get on that plane. I, I'd stick around for a million. Hey, shoot, I'd probably stick around for a month or two here in Vegas if I won a million. You know what? I think I answer my own question. look on her face it's pretty much telling me god why the hell am i stuck on the side of a box in the middle of the airport Gateway to D16, Urban Ports, Gateway to D16. 